friends today we are exploring a fascinating question can we use our thoughts feelings and intentions our collective consciousness to heal the planet this idea might sound like something out of a science fiction movie but it's actually rooted in science and psychology Collective consciousness is the idea that when many people focus on the same positive intention, it can have a real impact on the world. Some research suggests that our thoughts and intentions might influence our surroundings. There are many interesting experiments that hint at the power of our collective minds. Let's dive in to understand what collective consciousness means look at some real experiments and explore how we might use it to help our planet earth so what is collective consciousness collective consciousness is a concept that suggests all of our minds are connected each of our thoughts emotions and intentions don't just stay with us individually they spread out in some way and affect the world around us in simple terms, collective consciousness is the idea that people's minds are all tuned in to each other at some level. This is not just about a few people sitting together and thinking the same thing. It's a larger concept that says if enough people focus on the same idea or intention, it could create change. Imagine if millions of people around the world focused on healing the planet at the same time could it actually make a difference science is still trying to answer that but some fascinating studies have already given us clues to understand if collective consciousness is real let's look at few famous experiments experiment number one the maharishi effect and crime reduction studies one of the most famous studies on collective consciousness is called the Maharishi effect. This concept comes from experiments in the 1970s and 1980s where groups of people practiced transcendental meditation TM together. The Maharishi Mahesh Yogi who developed TM believed that if a big group meditated for peace and positivity, they could reduce stress and violence in the surrounding community. One of the main studies was done in 1983 in Washington, D.C. Researchers gathered a large group of people and had them meditate with a focus on reducing crime in the city. Over a few weeks, as the group meditated daily, researchers recorded crime rates in the area. Surprisingly, they saw a noticeable decrease in violent crimes during the meditation period. The study didn't stop there. Researchers repeated similar experiments in other cities and in each case, there was a drop in the crime rates during the meditation period. This led some scientists to believe that collective meditation or focus on positive thoughts could actually influence behavior and reduce violence however not everyone agrees with these results as critics argue that other factors could explain the crime reduction like weather changes or seasonal trends but the results are still interesting and hard to ignore number two the global consciousness project the Global Consciousness Project started in 1998 by Dr. Roger Nelson from Princeton University is another major experiment on collective consciousness. This project uses random number generators RNGs, which are devices that produce numbers in a completely random pattern like flipping a coin. The project set up RNGs in various locations worldwide, continuously recording data. The theory was that during times of intense global focus, like a big event, these RNGs would show less randomness, meaning that people's emotions and thoughts were somehow affecting the devices. For example, during the September 11 attacks in the United States, 
these random number generators showed significant changes. Other big events like New Year's Eve celebrations or global sports events also showed patterns that were more ordered than random. The Global Consciousness Project suggests that when a large number of people focus on the same event, it could create a measurable effect. While this project doesn't show exactly how collective consciousness works, it raises the question, can our thoughts really connect with the physical world, even affecting machines? The answer is not clear yet, but the results continue to be studied by researchers worldwide. Friends, another area where collective consciousness has been studied is in health and healing. Dr. Dean Redden, a scientist and author, has conducted various studies on the power of intention, especially in healing practices. In one study, he looked at how people's positive intentions might affect human cells. Groups of people were asked to focus their positive thoughts on the cells. And surprisingly, there was some evidence that the cells responded positively. Although the changes were small, these studies suggest that focused intention could have subtle effects on physical objects, even living cells. Some researchers have even done studies where groups of people meditate or pray for patients in hospitals and the patients reportedly showed better recovery. However, this area of research is still controversial as it's difficult to control all the variables in these types of experiments. So, if collective consciousness can have a real impact, how could we use it to help the planet? Here are some ideas. Number one, regularly visualize a healthy planet. Many people believe that visualization can help focus our intentions. Each day, even for just a few minutes, try to picture a clean and thriving planet. Imagine clear oceans, lush forests, and animals living in peace. This simple exercise could help you focus on positive environmental goals and inspire similar thinking in others. Number two, participate in group meditations or events. There are often global meditation events or environmental awareness days that encourage people to focus on the planet's health. By joining these events, you become part of a larger movement of people focusing on the same positive intention. These events can be a way to sync up with others and strengthen the impact of collective consciousness. Number three, appreciate and care for nature daily. When you are outside, try to be mindful and appreciative of nature. Take a moment to thank the trees, the air, and the earth itself. Studies show that practicing gratitude can improve mental health and some believe that our appreciation for nature can strengthen our connection to it. Number four, share positive stories about environmental wins. Collective consciousness can also spread through sharing positive news. Instead of focusing on the negative environmental news, try sharing stories of success like conservation efforts, wildlife protection, or sustainable technology. By focusing on positive change, you might encourage others to stay hopeful and work towards solutions. Friends, some may wonder if thinking positive thoughts and visualizing change are enough. While collective consciousness may not replace practical actions like reducing pollution or protecting wildlife, it could still play an important role. Our intentions could influence the choices we make and those choices could lead to real world change. History has shown that when large number of people believe in a cause, it can create powerful movements. Civil rights movement, peace movements and environmental movements all started with a shared belief and grew as more people joined in. 
if we can inspire a global focus on environmental healing, it might encourage more people to adopt sustainable practices. Friends, while collective consciousness may not be a complete solution to the environmental crisis, it's an idea worth exploring. If we can use our thoughts and intentions to bring about small changes, those changes can build up over time. By joining together mentally, we might amplify each other's intentions and create a larger positive effect on the planet. Spending a few minutes each day focusing on positive changes for the environment is a simple act, yet it could make a difference. Whether or not science fully explains it yet, collective consciousness is a powerful reminder that we are all connected and together perhaps we can help heal our planet. Thank you for watching.